Hello, I'm Bruce Shane, and today I'm going to show a very old demonstration, but it is one of my favorites when we're looking at index of refraction. It has to do with corn oil, it has to do with glass, and it also has to do with a broken test tube. So, let's set up a backdrop so we can see this easier and take a closer look. Alright, now this experiment's going to start with two containers, and this first container I'm going to fill up with water. Most of the way up. There we go. That's about right. And the second container, I'm going to use corn oil. About the same amount. Now that we have these containers ready to go, the next step is I'm going to add an empty test tube to each one. We'll put one in the water first. We can see it. And I'm going to fill it up with water. And there it goes. And we can still see it very plainly. Now let's try one in the oil. Let me get one here. There it is. Put it in the oil. We can see that very plainly, but let's fill it up. And the test tube seems to disappear. Now let's see that again. Here we are in the water. Fill it up. There it is, plain as day. We can see it very easily. Let's try the oil again. While it's empty, we can see it very plainly. But once that fills up with oil, it seems to disappear. Now the answer is, it has the same index of refraction as the oil does. And that means they both bend light the same way at the same angle. So that's what's making it hard to see the test tube inside the oil. Now that you understand this concept, we're going to take this broken test tube and make the oil appear to make it whole again. Now this is a fun demonstration that I do in my classroom sometimes. It starts with that container of oil again, and my broken test tube is in two pieces, and we're simply going to take them and add them to the container of oil and see if the oil will restore the test tube back into one piece. So let's drop both halves in here. We'll push that one down. There it goes. Drop the other one down. Now, I want to stir this around a little bit and see if that will make that test tube whole. get some tweezers and see what I can find. And there it is. There's my test tube back in one piece. At least that's how it appears. If we go back and take a closer look at that container of oil, we really don't see anything in there. It does appear to be empty. Now this trick was good enough that when I was cleaning up after it, I had a hard time trying to find those pieces. I'd hold it at different angles and look around and I couldn't see them in there. So to get them out, I finally had to take the container and pour the oil back into the corn oil container and get it low enough that I could then find them and then pull them back out again. I thought I'd try this one more time. In this case, I'm just going to use jars and smash them down into tiny pieces by hitting them with this brick. That should be good enough. And I'll break the other two. And then we'll pour them into this tray and then I'll spread them out a little bit and add the oil and we'll see what we get. Now this doesn't work quite as well as the Pyrex test tubes or glassware but it is passable. In this case, the oil is reducing the reflection and refraction that's taking place and allowing the light rays to pass in straighter paths so that we could see what's underneath the chips of glass. 